Hello and welcome to our virtual booth. I'm Mike Toll with Cardo and in this video we'll be covering the products but also I want to encourage you to check out the many different data sheets, comparison charts, uh, online you know, YouTube tutorials and such. We've got a ton of it out there and all of it can be really helpful if you're looking for that deeper level of information. Now in front of me I have our models going into 2021. Uh, I have some accessories to show you as well that complement these. But what we'll do is we'll break it down between Freecom series and Pack Talk series, uh, and, and then take a little deeper dive into those, you know, those categories. So let me get the booth switched around, and I'll be right back. Stay on top of the latest and greatest tutorials, tips and tricks, and other great information. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. All right, before we get into the weeds, uh, just a reminder, it's always a good idea to check, make sure you're running the latest firmware, regardless of which Cardo model you have. Um, only everything but the most dated Cardo models now use a thing called the Cardo Update Tool. You find that on our website. It's available for Mac uh, and PC, obviously. And it's easy, right? You just launch this little program, you plug in your unit, and it tells you, hey, you're up to date, right on, or you need to update. If you need to update, little bar goes around the thing, updates the firmware, you're out. So check it, it's always, it's a nice tool. We're constantly improving these or adding features. Um, check it out. So the Freecom series, this is basically our Bluetooth line of intercom headsets. Um, and all of them have kind of a unique fitting and they're actually all pretty popular within those, those use cases. The way to kind of decide which one is for me or which one should I talk about um, is this. The number, the one plus, two plus, four plus, the number matches the amount of, she of machines that it's capable of. For example, starting with the one plus, uh, available as a single or as a dual, popular with just solo riders, but it does have intercom, right? In fact, it'll pair with anything, any model, it has universal intercom, but it has intercom for one machine, whether it's riding a passenger, side by side, doesn't matter. Uh, it has no range, but it's not for the person that wants range. Um, two units in the box, if you buy the dual kit, uh, universal intercom and a perfect solution if you just need same bike, same machine, whatever, comms uh, and don't need bike to bike at all. Um, if you do, that's when we start stepping up to the 2 Plus. Now, your differences between the 1 Plus and the 2 Plus, super easy, it's two differences. The 2 Plus has a bike to bike range of 800 meters. So if you know you can actually spread it out, you can of course ride it, uh, ride it a passenger, but you can get bike to bike range out of this, two headsets maximum. Um, the second difference is going to be the inclusion of the wired mic uh, as well as the boom. So for information on that, the OnePlus comes with a boom mic, we call it a hybrid boom mic, um, which fits all helmets, any helmet out there, uh, but it doesn't come with the wired mic. Not a bad thing, I mean, it's, it, the one it comes with fits everything, right? But the 2 Plus and on do come with both options, kind of nice if you're just looking for that clean button mic installation. But those are the two differences between your OnePlus and your 2 Plus. Moving on, 4 Plus. Now we start to see some of the shiny stuff coming down from the pack series. What do I mean by that? You have the inclusion of natural voice operation. That's huge. Uh, natural voice really changed the game in, in how you, you know, voice commands with these headsets. The workflow is basically, hey Cardo, do this. Hey Cardo, do that. Um, for real examples, hey Cardo, battery status. It'll tell you your battery status. Hey Cardo, radio on. Hey Cardo, next station. Um, hey Cardo, volume up just like I'm saying it, and there's, it's available in multiple different languages, but you say the command, it does it, it really reduces the amount of times you have to touch the headset, if anything. Um, natural voice, pretty special. The other thing, sound by JBL. Starting here and moving up, uh, you have the sound by JBL experience built into this. I'll talk about it a little bit here with that. Now, that doesn't mean these are bad by any means. These come with rad speakers, 40 millimeters, uh, they don't suck by any means, but is it the sound by JBL experience? What is, right? Not much is. So, four plus, up to four machines, bike to bike. Uh, we call it real intercom. It's about a little over a kilometer, about three quarter of a mile range, uh, real range, and connected into a Bluetooth uh, sequence. Now, a couple blanket facts on the Freecoms and the Cardo products as a whole. Every Cardo comes with toolless installation, meaning that the unit just slips on or sticks onto the side of the helmet. Gone are the days of, you know, the, the Allen wrench and the piece hanging down below your helmet. Um, easy to put on, very small footprint, especially the Freecoms. I mean, these things are super thin and, and take up no space. 
Um, toolless installation, that's a big one. Every Cardo system is, is gonna be 100% waterproof, another massive one, which means, you know, if you need, whatever the weather is, you're good, uh, if it's a Cardo. Every Cardo is gonna have access to the Cardo Connect app. Now, this is a free app, iOS and Android, um, download it to your phone, and it's essentially a full-fledged remote control of the headset. Uh, your learning curve is almost zero, right? If you wanna turn on the FM, you just hit FM, turns on FM in the radio. Configuration, uh, volume levels, you, there's a ton of stuff you can do from the Cardo app, and it's actually user-friendly. So check that out. Um, every Cardo has it. Another thing, the, uh, the output, the ability to use your own speakers, 3.5 millimeter output for every single Cardo. Now, this means if you don't want to use the stock ones that come with it, you can plug in whatever speakers or earbuds uh, or custom molds that you'd like. Um, all of them have 13-hour battery life and can be charged while being used, and all of them have at least a two-year warranty. In short, with the Freecoms, our Bluetooth-based headsets. These aren't the mesh, that's the Pack Talk stuff. We'll talk about that in a second. But they go up to four riders with the 4 Plus, and that's where we stop in Bluetooth. Uh, we strongly feel that, like, rider, you know, six-person systems, eight-person systems that operate in Bluetooth, when you get to that number of riders in a daisy chain scenario like that, that's when things really start to fall apart. So we stop at four. Anything more than that, we're definitely going to mesh. To cover a couple of the accessories, First one, the 45 millimeter speaker audio set. This is sweet. This is an upgrade to any Cardo system minus the Pack Talk Black. You'll understand why in a second. And if you're scratching your head, because I said a minute ago, this one comes with JBLs as well. Uh, here's the difference. All Cardos come standard with the 40 millimeter minus the black, obviously. This is a 45 millimeter sound by JBL speaker. Um, comes with two things, the speakers, obviously, but second and equally important is a little QR code inside this box that you scan with the Cardo Connect app. Uh, that unlocks the sound, the uh, JBL profiles uh, for any of these headsets. So if you have a one or you have a two plus, uh, you can get that sound by JBL experience by using this uh, accessory. And of course you can upgrade your current speakers using this as well. Moving on, the refreshment kit, this is new. And this just comes with all the little bits that you find yourself kind of, you know, searching or needing after a couple years, maybe a year, or you transferred a couple helmets uh, of owning the system. The extra Velcro bits, uh, 3M adhesive mounts, uh, extra foam for your microphone covers, just those little pieces um, fits compatible with any of the ones here. Moving over to here, the Freak, uh, sorry, the uh, Boom microphone kit for the Freecoms. That's an awesome solution if you're going to be putting it on a half helmet or if you're putting it on any other helmet that the stock stuff doesn't outfit. Keep that in mind as an accessory. And then another accessory that we don't have on the table here is what we call the second helmet kit. That's if say you've got another helmet, or, you know, you've got your one helmet, you bought your unit, awesome. Now you got another helmet, you wanna just transfer the module to the other helmet. That's called the second helmet kit. It's an accessory that, fu that fully outfits another helmet uh, and you're good to go. So. That pretty much sums it up with the free comms. Let me get the booth switched over for the Pack Talk and we'll continue from there. That brings us to the Pack Talk series of headsets the Pack Talk Slim, Pack Talk Bold, and then new to the family, Pack Talk Black. Now, these are regarded by most comparative shootouts that exist as the best headsets in the world. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that, but one of the ones surely is the inclusion of DMC Mesh. What is Mesh? I won't go into, into it too deep here because we're trying to keep this thing somewhat short, but mesh is essentially uh, the future. Whether you ride with two people, four, six, whatever, there's advantages to DMC mesh that you just cannot find in a Bluetooth intercom system. Cardo spent about three, four years developing it, and then in 2015 came out with the world's first mesh headset, uh, the original Pack Talk. Only problem was, everyone's like, what the heck is mesh? Uh, 2016, 17 click by and barely just getting some traction, getting it going, people are starting to understand it. And then as of the last couple years, Mesh is now everywhere. Uh, Cardo does have an advantage though in the fact that, yeah, it was pioneered by Cardo, but we've just been doing it longer. There's nothing new about Mesh to Cardo. So in short, I mean, if you've got a Cardo device, a Pack Talk or any Cardo that says DMC on it, just trust that it does it and it does it well. Um, through a period of refinements, fixes, uh, today's DMC offered by Cardo is the robust connectivity landscape that there is. So, Pack Talk Slim, Pack Talk Bold. Common question, what the heck is the difference, right? The, the easiest way to think about it is consider them identical. They both have the exact same facts on the back and they're capable of the same stuff. 
only difference is there's two. Slim has a slightly less bike to bike range than Pack Talk, about three quarters of a mile uh, on Slim versus up to one mile on Bold. But the bigger difference is just their design, their structure. Slim's approach is what they call semi integrated. So it essentially becomes part of your helmet. It's only about six and a half millimeters thick on the side of the helmet, uh, takes up like no space, right? But it's, it's not something that you would easily want to transfer from helmet to helmet. Whereas Bold, and certainly all other types of headsets, you have an audio kit, you have the brain piece that you snap on, and you can get other audio kits and transfer that unit from one to the other. So th the easiest way to approach this is if you have one helmet, and that's the helmet you're looking to outfit, and you want it nice and clean, you got to consider Slim. Uh, fits about 70, 75% of helmets. I would ch check the compatibility list on Carter's website to be certain, something that we're always updating. But if you have multiple helmets, say you've got a full face, say you've got a moto, say you also have a ski helmet, uh, go bold because you can put bold on anything and easily transfer it to the different helmets that you might wear. Moving up from there, Pack Talk Black. Now this is a special edition version of the bold. Your differences are gonna be, it's all black casing. Uh, it does look awesome, actually. It comes with, it's the only model that comes with the 45 millimeter JBLs stock, that's part of it. And it has a three year warranty versus the normal two year warranty. So if you're looking at bold, definitely consider black um, and make a choice. Something to keep in mind, the slim and the bold are available as single units and as dual packs, whereas the black is gonna be available as single only. Um, sound by JBL, natural voice, DMC mesh, you name it, it's got it. These hands down are just the best units that you can find. Over here, you'll find the same two accessories we talked about with Freecom. Both still apply to the pack series, obviously minus the 45s, which the black comes with. So that would not be a smart choice, but definitely consider it if you have either the bold or the slim. Um, refreshment kit makes sense. And on this side, the two mounting options, one of which being the boom mic, if you're mounting this, the pack talk bold, to a half helmet or any other type of non-traditional helmet, if you will, you're gonna to wanna to look at the boom mic and the second helmet kit, which again, if you're out, if you've got one helmet, but you wanna outfit another helmet, instead of buying you know, a new bold or a new black, uh, you just buy this audio, this audio kit, second helmet kit, comes with the base, mics, speakers, Velcros, and everything you need to outfit that additional helmet. Uh, keep in mind one thing, if we're about, we're in the midst of changing the packaging on these. So uh, if you order that part number and you receive it and it looks nothing like that, don't flip out. You're probably fine. Um, that's it. I hope you found it informative. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks.